Today we are going to discuss about design of rock foundations. What are the things you need to consider during the design of rock foundations? Punch in shear checks, cut control, durability requirements, exposure conditions and how to analyze and design rock foundations. Let's start. First step of the design of rock foundation is the load devaluation. First we have to calculate the loads. There are two types of load, SLS and ULS. Sensibility limit state load and the ultimate limit state load. So depending on the your superstructure arrangement, you have to calculate these loads. You may have a columns or walls. So depending on those arrangements, you have to find these loads on the rough foundation. Then you have to analyze the rough foundation. Mainly there are two methods to analyze the rough foundations. First one is the manual method. The second one is the use of the computer packet. So you can use the software to analyze that. Now the manual method is technically a bit difficult because you have to do the all the calculations. You have to follow a textbook for that you may when you are doing the designs because it's uh, some kind of a this is some kind of a procedure you have to follow. You have to divide this raft into strips then based on these strips you have to consider the loads and all that you have to do the design using a software package you can do it a bit easily uh, because the analysis will be done by the software but you have to keep in mind that since the software is a kind of a black box we have to consider we have to do it correctly you have to provide your input correctly otherwise you will be in trouble therefore that we have to keep in mind and when there are outputs from the analysis, you should be able to verify those and also based on your experience, you should be able to judge those things. When you do the design of rough foundations with the software, there are a few things you need to consider. Say, you have to have a column load like this. This is a kind of a cross section. Then you have to have the soil. So it will be modeled as a springs. Now, this can be provided model with the subgrade reaction. So we have to calculate the subgrade reaction. Now for subgrade reactions, now there are different different equations to calculate subgrade reaction. We have to model this in the that particular software. So you may use 40 times bearing capacity into safety factor. This we can consider as a subgrade reaction. This is 44 a 25 millimeter uh, settlement so assuming settlement is 25 this 40 is come this one no thousand this this comes from the calculation but if this varies you have to change this value and the bearing capacity you might know from your soil integration report this safety factor that's also come from the bearing capacity equation the same safety factor used for the bearing capacity calculation you have to consider that right now you have done the analysis from these things you can do the analysis and once you do the analysis there will be result from the analysis now let's see there are foundation having two columns that's kind of a cross section so what's the bending moment ba your bending moment diagram should be like this right here it should be go to the negative side now it's, it should be go like this right the, at the support there will be a higher bending moment similarly the shear force diagram also could be like this so that also you may should be aware of that right this behavior you should be aware right some, some similar kind of a behavior will be there so these values you can obtain from the analysis and you can do the design calculations. When you know the bending moment and the shear forces, you can do the rest of the calculation. You can find the reinforcement area and the shear links. Now, when it's come to shear links, now uh, we most of the time try to avoid the shear links in during the designs. That's because when you it's very difficult to avoid the shear links. In these kind of a situations uh, in their designs there are two components in the shear design that is 
first you have to check the punch inch here then you have to check the vertical line here punch is a perimeter depend on your particular standard the different standard have used different values this is the your column and this distance is to the uh, distance for the punch in shear perimeter this could be d this could be 1.5 d or any other value depending on your code that you have to consider then from here you know the loads and you can find the shear stress there that you have to check whether within the allowable limit if it is greater you may have to provide the shear link other than that now you have to calculate the vertical line shear that is shear stress stress at the face of the column face of the column now there also you have to be careful now you have to check whether it is within the limit when you when you have a very high reinforcement at the column level due to the low thickness we may have to enhance there and also to avoid the reinforcement there you have, you can use the you can increase the sections there there are different methods that we can adapt to increase the section there. One is one method is you, you can increase the section like this. During the construction, it would be difficult to have this kind of edge, and also for the designs, also this kind of edge is not that good. Therefore, you taper like this, or else you can draw this other way also. If you if you are not using the basement for any other purposes like parking you can do project this one other direction also because this is very difficult to do the construction but this is bit easy first you can construct up to this level then you can do the rest of the construction with this you can increase the moment capacity and the shear capacity of the section therefore you could avoid the shear links depending on your condition but Definitely this will enhance the sections and also you might not need to because the bending moments are higher at the column so Therefore you might need not to increase the whole sections instead of that you can increase the section at columns Apart from that you have to consider there are some other things you have to consider first one is the crack crack control you have to think about the crack control and the durability and the exposure condition and depending on those concrete gate water cement ratio minimum cement content and the cover to the reinforcement all those things you have to consider during the design cut control is very important because now the structure is exposed to the environment corrosive environment because when when the structure is exposed to the corrosive environment we should let me crack with and if the crack with exceed there will could be possibility of corroding the rain also there could be aggressive environments like chloride environment or sulfate environment in those kind of situations you have to be careful you have to design consider the durability requirement and the exposure condition so depending on the exposure condition you have to select the concrete grade water cement ratio minimum cement content and the cover consider the durability requirement and the Exposure condition, grade of the concrete, and the other requirements of the concrete, like uh, minimum cement content, the water cement ratio has to be controlled correctly. I hope that we had a good discussion on our foundations. Let's meet again from new video to study further on these kind of topics. Thank you very much for watching our videos.